And uh, a year and a half later, I was, I was making twice as much per month as I had been making per year. Uh, but the important point to realize is I was 10 times more miserable than I had been when I was working at the, the company after graduation. And the reason was I still didn't have any time. So it became clear to me that the problem wasn't the vehicle. The problem wasn't going from employee to entrepreneur. The, the problem was the driver, in this case me, and the tools that I was using. And uh, in June of 2004, this is the third reason to listen to me, is I completely unplugged from all of that. And I decided to more or less ignore what was popular, what was expected, and to really return to a blank slate to look at what worked for me, and to look at a, an alternative to the, the results by volume approach. And I spent 15 months traveling around the world through 20 countries conducting experiments what I call lifestyle design. And the, the first rule that I set for myself while I was traveling around the world was that I could check email once per week. So I could check it on Mondays for one hour. And this was going from 100 to 200 times per day to once per week. And uh, my, my company at that point, and still at this point, uh, had 300 to 400 people that, uh, I was, that were working on my products at any given time. And uh, amazingly enough, the company did not fail. Uh, the profit actually increased 40% as soon as I removed myself as a bottleneck. And that really opened my eyes to just how far wrong many of the assumptions we make are. And uh, that brings me to what I'd like to share today, which are some of the key principles, the commonalities among the top performers that I interviewed while I was traveling for uh, almost two years. And uh, each of them has a, a huge, hugely disproportionate ratio of input to output. So although they, they have extremely fulfilling personal lives, they do incredible things, setting world records, you name it, in their spare time, their output is 10 times more than the person sitting next to them, and how that's possible. So there are really four components, and I want to give you at least one principle from each that you can implement. So the four steps, essentially, from moving from results by volume to uh, results-only work environment, so to speak, is definition, elimination, automation, and then liberation. And the last piece sounds more foo-foo than it is, but actually how to use the time and how to fill the void once you remove work as your personal identity, which is a lot harder than people realize. So I'll talk about definition first. And uh, definition in, in short involves focusing on what you do as opposed to how you do it. So particularly when the, the, the common Assumption now is that the, the road to success is paved with Blackberries and Twitter and God knows what else is coming. Uh, the reality is that being effective is more important than being efficient. So the 80-20 principle, also known as Pareto's principle, is something I'd like to discuss briefly, which will be the, the main principle I'll talk about for definition. So for those of you who are not aware, the 80-20 principle dictates that 80% of your results are, uh, can be correlated to 20% of your activities, of your efforts, of your time. Um, and that can be implemented and, and reworded a number of different ways. 20% of your portfolio will be uh, responsible for 80% of your gains. 20% of the products of a given company will be responsible for 80% of the profit, 20% of the customers. So just as one example from my, my own life that can illustrate how dramatic and how immediate some of these changes can be is when I left the, the United States in uh, June of 2004, I realized that I couldn't really handhold the 120 wholesale customers I had. It was an impossibility. And when I sat down and did a quantitative analysis of, of, of my uh, profit per customer, it turned out that five of the 120 were producing 95% of the profit. And they were the five largest. They never caused any problems. They required zero management. But because I felt I had to fill every minute of the 9 to 5 day, in fact, at that point, it was 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., with some type of work fidget, I was inventing activities for myself. And that translated into calling and checking up on the other 115 customers. And the decision I made was to put them on a holding pattern, essentially, where I would certainly help them answer questions, 
receive and process orders, but otherwise I would cultivate the five main customers, profile them, and then add one or two more that fit that same profile. And as a result, I went from about 60 hours a week to two hours a week. And over the process of about four months, doubled profit from those wholesale customers. 